We always know there's a mile high difference for the Colorado Rockies, but this offense right now is as potent as it's looked since a couple of decades ago. Alongside Water President Dallas Braden and Adnan Burek, we know about Troy Tulowitzki, how great he is, but after him, up and down this lineup, you look at this lineup and it's there's so many hitters that can offer something, whether it's Carlos Gonzalez or a Blackman, and clearly, right now, these numbers, second best in baseball. Oh, so deep, and they're getting on base, and they're putting a lot of pressure on the off opposing pitchers. Everybody talks, well, it's Coors Field. Well, guess what? They're not doing it at home. They're not only doing it at home, but they're doing it on the road also. And the question is right now, the hitting is so good, but is there enough pitching Dallas for Colorado to sustain themselves? That's going to be the question mark. De La Rosa at the top of the rotation. Everybody knows what he's going to bring to the table. I think losing Brett Anderson was a huge impact player that we're not going to see for a while. He has the ability to come in and really bolster that staff. So with, without that definitive number two or three there, I think it's going to be a long season. And Nolan Arenado, 27-game hit streak that ties the Rockies franchise record set by Michael Kadire just a season ago.